This is the plaintiff, Jolie. She says she and the defendant were in a romantic relationship. She loaned him money, but she now refuses to return since they've split up, and that's not fair. He's also holding her belongings hostage in his apartment. She's turning to the courts, seeking justice for what the defendant's doing to her, and is suing for the $857.47 she's rightfully owed. This is the defendant, Javier Duracott. He says the plaintiff became very possessive and practically moved in with him. After two months, he couldn't take it anymore and told her they were through. The plaintiff began harassing him and called him 24 times a day to the point where he had to change his number. Next thing he knows, he's getting sued for gifts she gave him during their relationship. Bottom line, this lawsuit's crazy and he thinks the judge is going to agree. He's accused of taking advantage of an ex. All parties, please get your ready. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Jolie? Yes. Uh, you are suing Javier Dur... Is it Javier? How do you pronounce your name? Javier Duracut. Javier Duracut. Yes. For $857.47 that you say he owes you and refuses to pay you. What's going on? Um, we met... We talked. We seemed to hit it off. Um, we started seeing each other. Um, I would come over to his apartment. Um, I started staying over. Um, his birthday came up. We went to a party. You started dating in September? Yes. OK. And his birthday was when? September. OK. Um, so um, I brought over a few things. It was his birthday as well. So I brought over a few things. What are a few um, things? Like I had brought over a comforter set. Um, his TV went out. I brought my TV set over. So we just progressed from there. Um, well, I'm still in September. Yeah, we're still in September. Just met. Yeah. Okay. So then what happened? Um, he was a Muslim. Um, he gave me this prayer called Shahada, which was supposed to, I only wanted to pray, but he ended up, it, the, the prayer was supposed to, um, I guess, change me into a Muslim. Um, I wasn't too happy with that. Um, but I would pray with him while I was there. Um, so I bought prayer rugs because his rug wasn't that clean. So um, we talked a lot. We seemed to. Yeah, OK, we'll give it a So then what happens? Um, when, when do you start giving him money? Let's get to that. Let's, I, I believe. Because that's why I'm here. The end of September. OK. Um, he tells me some story about how his account got frozen. He can't get access to his money. So at the time, I had maybe $100 on me. So I was like, you know, I don't want to leave you without money. Um, how about, you know? I give you $75, you know, until you can get to your money. And so he was like, oh, thank you. You know, that's so nice. That's so kind, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know, no problem. You know, when you can get to your money, no problem. So I loaned him the $75. That happened when? Still, We're still in September. September. We're about Okay, then you loaned him another 500 24. When did that happen? The next couple of days. Oh. He, so he hadn't paid the 75 back, so you No, because he's still locked out. They didn't resolve the issue. That sounds like issue. a him problem, not a you problem. He still it, doesn't. So I you watch you all the time. I, and I know what have you learned in 18 say. years? I know. I know. So go ahead. <laughs> so um, I loaned him the $500. And Do you have him, so you watch me all the time. Do you haven't signed any promissory notes? No, I didn't. I didn't have a crayon and a piece of toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> With me, we were we were outside, <laughs> but I knew you were gonna say that. Um, How about you just tape them on your phone? Takes video. Yes. You're Why don't so you just right. tape them saying I, I agree not, that I? I was not thinking. The next day, the <laughs> next day or so, judge. yeah, I'm at his house and he says to me, "Oh, I'm gonna pay you back." You know, I insist. I said, "No problem." Um, so we go on and I start. You know, we're having conversations, but. You know, different times he keeps blowing up about different things that I'm saying, you know, anything. You know, he's like flying off the handle. Is this all the same night? No, these are different days okay. going into like October. So I'm realizing that, okay, you know, he's not who really. Who broke up with who? I broke up with him. What'd you tell him? Listen, 
I told him that I don't really think that this is going the right way. Uh, how'd you do that, by text? By or text. By, and what did he say? And he was like, you know, fine, no problem. You know, we don't need to speak anymore. So I was like, okay, what I need you to do is just, you know, call me in the next few days and make payment arrangements with me regarding the money. So the next thing he... And what was his reaction to that? You, you don't really care about me. You're so petty, you, you... Oh, let's see all the text. What's going on? Let me hear your version of things. I'm not going to say that she wasn't generous with me. She was generous with me from the very beginning that I met her in a relationship. I'm not... <laughs> that's not an, even an argument. I mean, she bought me roses the, the very first day that I met her. She brought roses to my house. From there, there were gifts after gifts after gifts after like gifts. Like what? She would bring, she brought the comforter like she said she did, and she Was also, that a gift to you? It was a gift. She brought it to me. She did my, she say, here, I brought this for you? She said, you need the television. I brought this to you. You need this television? She gave right, it to but me. I'm talking about the comforter. Did she tell you that was a gift for you? She just brought it over and gave it to me. She didn't, okay. she didn't mention that it was a gift, okay. you know. And uh, I brought her prayer rug back, the two books, and actually that little throw blanket, I brought that back. Okay, did you bring back the television? I didn't bring back the television. Why not? No, the TV, she still, if she wants that back, she can have it, because I got another one. Well, what about the, for the 75 and the 500? What did you think that was? Did you think that was a gift? Well, she offered that to me. She just came. Well, I know, but I could mm -hmm. offer you a loan, or I could offer you a gift. The okay. offer doesn't matter. I think that's clear that she was, mm -hmm. uh, she liked you, and she was showering she you no, with uh, affection and gifts. Yes, she did. But... Yes. I also need to know whether or not the money was yes. a loan or a gift. Well, if it was just helping you out through a tough time and to, you can get to your money with a clear mm -hmm. understanding that you're supposed to pay yeah. it back, then it's yeah. not a gift and you have to pay it back. Okay. So what's your position on that? Uh, my issue on that is just that she didn't introduce it as, as a loan. She was giving me everything else, so I figured she was helping me out with that too. The loan came after the fact that I told that I spoke to her and said that I didn't no longer want to be with her anymore. And that's when all of the arguments started. When did you tell her that? I told her that that was probably in the beginning of November. She has a text here that I would like for I you. I see the text where you're telling her, I'm sorry if I broke your heart, but you're the one that said that we should be friends because I had too much going on in my life. After she exactly. texts you, I'm not going to Brooklyn any, is it Brooklyn? Yeah. Anymore because okay. I have a yes. sex partner without the sex and I barely talk to you. Yes. Um, so I don't know who broke up with who, but she doesn't sound like a woman scorned. She sound like a, sounds like a woman disappointed and saying, I, you know, that we shouldn't go on with this. May I say something? Yes. Also, if you see in there, he also threatened my life. And I had Do to... I, is he saying, is he threatening your life or are you saying he threatened your life? Did, is it the second thing? It's the second thing. Okay. However, we had a phone call after he called me the, uh, the B word. I called him and he made the threat by phone and I went to the police and made a report. But not before sending him texts over and over throughout the night because you couldn't sleep because you were heartbroken. I'm not heartbroken. I'm concerned about my cash. Now you are? No, then, that day. Yeah, if you're so concerned about your cash then, why don't you have a promissory note? Because I wasn't, I'm thinking this man no, has a job. stop it. You know you got to get a promissory note. You he know the man 20 minutes. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So how long after you start dating somebody should you start loaning them money? I don't think you should ever loan them money. Ever? Probably not, no. Why? I just don't think loaning money is ever a good idea. It's a good way to ruin friendships. And okay. Friendships. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. No, never. never, ever? No, never. Like you're with them for 10 years? They shouldn't need to borrow money. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> so you, you just don't want a slacker in your life? <laughs> Correct. Gotcha. <laughs> what do you say, sir? I would say only if you're going to be seriously, if you get married to him. So you actually have to tie the knot before you Right, because you can't really trust, unless you give it away as a gift. And then right. you'll never have strength. Fair enough. enough, going inside the courtroom. In a situation where it isn't clear, then I look at the circumstances to figure it out. And it's not $20 to get you through the night. It's not, I'll buy you shampoo and conditioner. It's a $75 loan when the lady has 100 in her pocket and then a $500 amount a few days later, and I don't see that, that's a big amount. I don't see that as a gift. Um, I also don't see the woman scorned that you portray in your answer to the complaint. I just don't want to be with her anymore. That's why she's doing this. That happens a lot in front of me, and I get those cases, and, and those scorned women don't win. Yeah. Um, but 
I see her heartbroken, but not because you broke up with her, because because it's not working, and her saying, look, I need more than this. I just wish you'd give me more than this. She's heartbroken, but you're telling her, don't talk to me, don't call me, and then she says back, great, then just communicate with me about paying me back. Um, I really didn't feel I owed her the money, but now that we have that cleared up, all I really want to do is put closure to it. That's not a problem. I have a job. I okay, can't do pay me a favor. Money. Will yes. you pack up the comforter, the, whatever you have, the throw? Will you just pack it up and let her get it? Uh, she's not going to get it. Somebody, we're going to make arrangements for somebody else to get it. Do you have a problem doing oh, somebody that? somebody come pick it up? Yeah, yeah, not her. All right. All I have is the comfort and the television. And, what happened and, to the throw? What throw? What's that? Throw. You know it, what a throw is? Blue and oh, white. Oh, that's here? Yeah, that's here. And okay. the blanket is here. And the blanket's there? Mm -hmm. No, okay, not seven. the blanket, the, the prayer rug. The prayer rug. Okay. The prayer rug. Okay. So what did others. you keep? Just the, the yes. your prayer rugs that she gave you? There was two other prayer rugs. She, you're not getting those no, back. No, it was it was only one prayer. It rug was that... three prayer rugs. Okay, you know what? You're not getting the TV. I saw the emails where you end up saying to him that I gave you a TV. He's being generous and cut, wanting to just end all this. I do And too. you're gonna talk about. You're gonna sit here and argue with me about a prayer rug. Is that gonna happen? Well, I don't want him what, to lie. Is that in your best interest? No. Then stop talking. Okay. Awesome. Can I show you one thing that I found to be very important? I would like for you to read this conversation, and that, that is her meaning of a threat. That's her conversation in the email. I don't have your money, but I will definitely let you know I have it. If you want the rug, you can have it. And then she responds, well, I guess that's another threat to kill me once again. I go. said another. That's threat to kill you? How first, is that a threat to kill you? The first thread, he called me and told but me how he was going to... But this a threat to kill you? He said, eat rug. The first threat was I was going to... What's gonna, that mean? What? Is that I said, I, I said, no, what does I said push I would, my wig I, mean? He said, push my wig back means what, I'm going to kill you. That's what she's saying. No, that's I know, but what's I'm push saying. my wig? He wrote it in my, in my text message. He did 16 years in I'm jail gonna... for killing somebody. How did you meet him? He, how I met him? Yeah. Yeah. Through the program. program. In a program for what? Higher education for the incarcerated. Was she incarcerated yeah. too? Well, obviously, if she's a part of it. It's an educational program. But, how, but the people there all have to have been in custody? Yes. So what were you in custody for? I was in custody for drugs, but not... Okay, apparently it means kicking your blank. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to order that you pay back the $575. Okay. I'm going to ask you to please the, these items, because you're agreeing to it. Let's just make an arrangement. She okay. will not come to get them. It will Good. be a third party. Mm -hmm. Let's just... We'll transfer the stuff that's here now. We already did. And then we'll just finish the transfer, and then let's just start our lives fresh. Shall we? Mm -hmm. That's what you yes. want? Yes. Okay. That's, so let Can it be written, it? so let it be done. Let me... No, we're done. Mm -mm. No, no, there's no more. No. We're not. We're done. I'm done. You may not be done, but I'm done. Was it a comforter? Plaintiff prevails is going to get back her money finally. Yeah. Mr. Duracott, you could have uh, you could have given her the money. You just mm -hmm. didn't want her to harass you anymore. That's yeah. why you wanted to come to court. I wanted to come to court. Yes, I did. Okay. I prefer coming to court this way. If, if there's anything that, that any further actions happen, then I'll be able to protect myself from her. You learn anything from this whole yeah. episode? Do not take anything from anybody. Good idea. Good idea. Nothing. Okay. No gifts, Very no good. nothing. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now... Jolie's on her way out of the courtroom. You know, I'm surprised at you. You watched the judge all the time. You knew what she was going to say to you. I know. Crayon and a, and a piece of toilet paper. You know? Never trust a man. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Well, all right. They you, all lie. All right. <laughs> That's all they do. Well, what, what's your feeling about what just happened here? I won. I knew I was going to win. All right. Had no doubt. Well, you've learned a lesson the hard way in front of the judge. Now. Yes, I did. Remember it. Okay. I remember it. Good enough. Always. Good luck to you. Thank you. Her. Okay, you're very Thank welcome. Thank you, Judge. Harvey? Well, Doug, look, I mean, in some way, you got to put the other person on notice that it is a loan, and you can prove it's a loan. And the best way of doing that is, after the fact, send a text saying, I was happy to loan you money. Please pay me back when you can, or whatever the date is, whatever. That will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.